One more person that wanted to be here and couldn't, well, at least he said he wanted, maybe he was lying, um, was Stuart Nolan. Stuart Nolan um, talks about himself as a magician in residence at uh, Watershed that has their own labs and ways of operating. But we won't go into that now. Um, but he did send a uh, game for us to do together. And for that, I would ask you to take your phones out. And if you use Facebook, to open your Facebook page. If you don't, to sit next to someone that does and then do the exercise together. Okay? But if you have your phone and you have a Facebook, um, just open it in the news feed. <laughs> So, when we ask Stuart to, to contribute, he has been a contributor to other residency programs here. He said, uh, in relation to what makes the perfect lab, he said, I'm interested in how you introduce randomness and risk into labs as a way of counteracting the sometimes deadening hand of structure. I'm very sorry about that. Have you just come out of the container? Welcome. You need your phone and your Facebook news feed ready for this. And if you don't have a phone or a Facebook page, join someone that does. So someone called Stuart Nolan um, contributed with the game. And this is what he said. I'm interested in how you introduce randomness and risk into labs as a way of counteracting the sometimes deadening hand of structure, slight smile emoticon. I like the experiments with randomness and divination that the surrealists messed with. So here's a game I call The Gift from Hermes. In the excellent book, Trickster Makes This World, Lewis Hyde writes about the trickster Hermes, the god of messages, speed, thieves, deceit, and commerce. Hermes travels in the boundaries and spaces between the well-trodden roads. Other gods had their large temples in grand, solitary locations, but if you wanted to get a message from Hermes, you would go to the market where his small temple would be located. You would give an offering and ask a question. You would then cover your ears and walk away. After a fixed length of time, you would uncover your ears and the first words you heard spoken would be the gift from Hermes. It was considered an, an extra fortunate blessing if these words came from a child or an imbecile. If you like, you could try a version of the gift from Hermes when you are next in the marketplace of any sort. A shopping mall works well. Think of a question you have in your life. Say the question out loud. Then, as you think of your question, say the name Hermes seven times with your hands over your ears. Take your hands off your ears. The next thing that you hear spoken will be your gift from Hermes. Remember, Hermes is a trickster god, so his gift may be tricky. So here's a modern version that uses one of the biggest marketplaces we have today. Try this now. And that's for you. Think of a project you are working on. If you like, think of an aspect of the project that is troubling you. Bring up Facebook on a screen in front of you. Now say the name Hermes seven times, then refresh your newsfeed. The post at the top of the newsfeed is your gift from Hermes. Your challenge is to relate the post to your project or to incorporate the post into your project. Remember, the gift is from Hermes, so it may be tricky and require some interpretation. Remember that the gift is more meaningful if it comes from a child or an imbecile. This is why Facebook is a perfect oracle for a trickster god. So, when you're ready, Hermes, when you're ready, uh, you can say Hermes seven times with your project in mind and refresh your newsfeed.